greenhouse chemistry. Here we've got a sample of a limestone floor tile. Uh, you can see it's about one and a half centimeters thick. It's a sample. It's got this nice limestone smooth feel to it. It's, let's see what happens if we try to break a few chips off the rock with the hammer here. Well, you should be able to see that we've got some nice thin chips there. There's one. There's another. Quite thin. And one falling down the side here. We can use those in an experiment to see what happens on heating limestone. So here we have our sample of limestone tile. We've chipped a bit off with the hammer and now if we take a small sliver of the material that we've chipped off first thing we're going to do is to place it on the upturned glass here and we're going to add some water to it so this is limestone add some deionized water and next we're going to test the the pH of the water in contact with the stone. So there's our pH scale there and here's the pH paper in contact with the stone and you can see that it's around pH 6 to pH 7 there. Let's just put that to one side because if we take another sliver of limestone, thin sliver, and we place it on the edge of the gauze here what we're going to do is we're going to see what happens if we heat the limestone. So here we've got our burner. Let's heat. And you should be able to see the edge of the chip glowing quite hot there. Hope to get more than just the edge hot that's heat from the top and side here of course in the lab you'd be doing this with a a Bunsen burner but this is with a small propane lighter in the greenhouse. And again ordinarily we'd heat for a good 15 to 20 minutes using the Bunsen. Here we're only going to be able to heat the edge for a minute or two. And it's getting quite hot so let's stop there. Now you might be able to detect that the colour of the chip where we've heated has changed colour. It's now much lighter grey and it is of course, of course quite hot and we need to let it cool down. In order to assist it with the cooling let's move it onto the bottom of the glass here. Hoping the plastic doesn't melt or it's stuck to it slightly and let's get that off right. So that hopefully that won't won't affect the experiment that we want to show there, the molten plastic. So we just need to let that cool down for a minute or two before we add any water. So here's our chip after about five minutes of cooling, the same uh, plastic pipette here you can see no longer sticking to the chip and you should be able to detect that it's changed colour and sort of like looks quite different at the edge there where it was heated. So the next test is to again add some water to that part that was heated. So there goes the water and again 
we will test with the universal indicator paper and this time so we see where it's contact with the paper there we've got quite a different result so here on the the right hand side the first one unheated chip but on the left hand side you can see that that's turned purpley blue color that's indicative of a pH 12 13 there that's very alkaline now so heating the chip did indeed uh, change the nature of the material we've got a chemical reaction occurring there and it's one that you might like to uh, research into a little bit this heating limestone to form this alkaline material is of course the basis of the lime industry and we still use that today in the manufacture of cement and then all the things that we make of concrete it's not only the limestone here that we use um, here are some samples of Cotswold limestone which would react in exactly the same way and we could try heating a small sliver of the Cotswold limestone there too so that's heating limestone and the thermal decomposition